All right, so what we're doing today is uh, we're doing a little test on the gravels and sands here. We're going to be sending in a kilogram of concentrates and determining gold parts per million. So we're going to do a few pans, um, enough to get uh, 1,000 grams or one kilogram uh, that they need for the test. And we're going to send it in for an analysis. Basically, they take the fines, crush it down super fine, process that, and then they take all of the uh, stuff that's 100 mesh and uh, lower, process that, and then they combine the two for the final test result, and they'll tell us our uh, gold parts per million for concentrates. Um, basically, we're going to do probably four or five pans to be able to uh, get that amount. So the reason why we're doing uh, multiple pans is if we can get a thousand grams or a kilogram, the test is actually cheaper than doing something like 250 grams because they have to process in a different way. So it's just going to save a bit of money and that's why we're going to calculate it with uh, five pans or four pans, whatever it takes to get the thousand gram minimum. So this is probably fine for ponds. We're not expecting too much gold in here. What we're trying to do basically is just uh, determine what the gold amount is, where your deposit starts and stops. You have a zone of really oxidized rock and gravels and soils down creek and then up creek. Uh, it kind of stops. So we just want to determine what it is when it stops and what it is when it starts. So there's a couple tiny little specks of gold in there that I can see, but the test will tell uh, better about the fine gold. You can see you have a layer of dark sands up here, which contains black sands, and then below you have a really rusty layer which is uh, different than about uh, 30 feet this way all right so you can see rusty oxidized gravels we'll see what comes out of this pan all right so let's see what's in this pan compared to that last one All right, so we got a lot more material in here and it is a lot more oxidized. This is almost all black sand with small amounts of oxidized gravel. Just look at how rusty the rock is. 
So you can tell there's a substantial difference. So we think there's an iron and gold deposit running through the creek because we have found placer gold uh, down creek from this for about a kilometer and a half. Okay, so we're actually going to take five pans from this one, five pans from the one up there that's uh, 10 meters or 30 feet up, and we'll send that in for an analysis. Uh, we're not going to get the assay results back, so we won't be able to post them for uh, quite a while. So we'll just post this video. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned because there'll be a lot more from this claim.